The plan was to always have a big car in a bid for big volumes too. The stage was also as big as Skoda's new Kodiak broke cover in Berlin. It is the Czech company's attempt to garner some of the share and attention in one of the world's fastest growing segments, compact SUVs. The Kodiak isn't what you would traditionally call compact, yet this is not a hulk. Its smart proportions belie the rather big cabin though, and yes, it has three row seating. So what's great is that you get Toyota Fortuner proportions, but the car doesn't look that bulky. At the back is probably my favorite design element, Really sharp tail lamp, kind of akin to that uh, Bohemian crystal that you've seen with the Superb already. The Kodiak 4x4 badging, that 4x4 becomes significant of course because that is new territory in a sense. Though of course Skoda has had the Yeti in the past. Lots of sharp lines and angles along the side and again, take a look at the car and it doesn't look big and bulky. It doesn't look sort of massive and yet on the inside you get a lot of space. I think that's going to be the big USP. In the face, once again, that new design language from Skoda that you've seen and uh, really smartly finished grille. I have to say that the overall effect is very modern and yet very stately. So while the car looks rugged, it doesn't look beastly. And I think that's probably a very smart, smart move. The Kodiak will have to duel with the Toyota Fortuner, Ford Endeavor, Hyundai Santa Fe, the upcoming Volkswagen Tiguan and others when it gets to India by this time next year. Inside, the cabin looks really well finished and uh, you get good materials, you get new connectivity options. You know what, those are the details we'll get to when we're closer to bringing the car to you in uh, its actual driving review. For now, this is the part that really impresses me. I said from the outside, the car doesn't look so big and bulky. On the inside, it is surprisingly roomy. Great leg room, really nice headroom, and it's not like you're sitting too low. And uh, of course, you have the uh, option of the third row of seats as well. So. Uh, Let's show you that as well. And there you can see, that's pretty much, uh, go on in and take a look at the uh, third row of seats. It's a big boot, and yet you have that third row that's nicely concealed in there. So that's going to be the big USP, I think. The fact that it ticks all of those boxes for a lot of consumers in India too, and in many parts of the world. Massive boot when you want it. When you don't want it, of course, you've got uh, the uh, three rows of seats. And even with the third row up, I have to say that's pretty decent space and it's going to work pretty well for Skoda I think in terms of appealing to a large number of different kinds of customers in India and in other parts of the world too. The car boasts connectivity and technology with everything from apps to control information, wireless, phone charging, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, etc. Let's see how much of that makes it to the Indian spec model next year. The Kodiak will be assembled by Skoda at its Aurangabad plant. It would roll out with a 2-litre diesel automatic for starters, though a petrol is expected in 2018. I expect it to launch in the 25 to 30 lakh rupee price bracket, anything higher and it will become largely irrelevant. Lower would always be welcome of course.